In this chapter, we'll explore arrays and loops. An array is simply a way of storing multiple values in a single variable, and a loop allows you to get to each individual value in turn. This chapter lays the foundation for working with online forms and displaying database results later in the course. So, how do you create an array? Well, let's begin by creating a PHP block above the doc type. You store an array in an ordinary variable, so in keeping with the floral theme of the Hansel and Petal website that we've been using in the course, let's create an array called flowers. Then the equals sign, and there are two ways to create an array. The original way is to use the array keyword, and then a pair of parentheses after that, and between the parentheses, you create a comma-separated list of all the items that you want in the array. You can put anything in array. You can put numbers, you can put strings, you can put other things. You can even put other arrays inside an array. I'm going to use just strings, and we're going to have a list of various flowers. So they need to be separated by commas. Let's have some tulips, followed by a comma. Then the next array item will be roses. Then we'll have some daffodils. Maybe go up market a bit with some orchids. And then everyone's favourite, some daisies. And then, of course, after the closing parenthesis, we need a semicolon to end that statement. And that's how you create an array. There is a new way of creating an array, which has been introduced in PHP 5.4, and it's been adopted from JavaScript. So let me just copy this and paste it down here. We'll give it a new name. We'll call it flowers2. And instead of using the array keyword and parentheses, you just use square brackets. So if I delete array and replace that with a square bracket and then put a square bracket at the end, that is the new shorthand way of creating an array. It works only in PHP 5.4 and later. And you might have noticed that Dreamweaver is telling me I've got a syntax error on line three. The reason for that is that I'm using Dreamweaver CS6, which knows about the syntax for PHP 5.3 and earlier, but it doesn't understand the 5.4 syntax. So it's a useful reminder that this shorthand syntax works only in the latest versions of PHP. Because this shorthand doesn't work on all servers, throughout the rest of the course, I'm going to use the original version with the array keyword and parentheses. But if you are using a more up-to-date version of PHP, then of course you can use this shorthand version. And incidentally, Dreamweaver CC has been updated so that it does understand the syntax of PHP 5.4. So you wouldn't get a syntax error if you were using that as your editor. If you want to add extra elements to an array, the easy way to do so is to add an empty pair of square brackets after the variable name and assign a new value. So let's add a new value to our original flowers array. So flowers and then an empty pair of square brackets, the equals sign, and then the value, which will be irises. And that's the way that you add an extra item at the end of an array. And this also works exactly the same if you're using the shorthand version. So I could add the same value to the flowers2 array. So just the empty pair of square brackets and then add that string at the end, irises. So that's how you create an array. There are two ways in which to do it. One is to use the traditional way, which is with the array keyword and a pair of parentheses between the parentheses add a comma-separated list of the array elements. The shorthand way to do it is to use a pair of square brackets, but this is supported only in PHP 5.4 or later. So now you know how to create an array. The next step is to use their contents in a practical way.